I'm going to teach you a PvP cheese that lets you invade others and blow them up, killing them nearly instantly. Now, this is something that was patched out quite a while ago. However, it still works if you are level 1 and you have no weapon upgrades because this will match you with opponents, well, hosts, not so much every opponent, up to level 20 with up to, like, level 3 weapons or something like that. And so what this allows us to do is one-shot them and send them and their overpowered level 700 friends back to the loading screen. So let me show you what the build consists of and what it is. Okay, so this is a wondrous physic build, and you're going to be using the ruptured crystal tears. This causes an explosion. By stacking two of these, you will stack tons of damage. Now, this does kill you as well, but you still get the rewards if you're into that. Alright, now let's go over the uh, equipment. You're going to need the Sacred Scorpion Charm because the explosion is holy. And in order to survive the onslaughts of enemies that are level 713, because that's just what it is, like, <laughs> level 1 hosts will summon a level 700 character to, to defend them. It's silly. Alright, you need the Ritual Shield Talisman, and this is going to greatly dramatically increase your defense um, when your HP is full, which it should be full. Alright, you're, you're going to want uh, the Two Fingers Heirloom to raise your faith, because more faith equals more damage. And the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman to tank just slightly more damage. Alright, then you're going to want a, a prattling, uh, prattling Pate, so you can kind of taunt the enemy. Uh, if you want to play dirty, you could use a Rotting Pot on their friends, and if they don't have a way to heal it, they will die. Alberneric Pot will allow them to not use a Flask to keep themselves up. You're going to want a Dagger with... Bloodhound Step and a Dagger with Golden Val. Uh, also, just a, a seal to cast buffs. And for your spells, you're just going to have Flame Grant Me Strength, alright? You don't really need to buff in this, but it does help, so let me show you now what it looks like. Oh, I forgot armor real quick. Okay, so I'm using a Great Hood, but you can use any hood with plus faith. Uh, Commoner's Garb, this, this gives me more faith. You can use a heavy armor if you want to look goofy. You don't really need this, it's just kind of overkill. And then I'm using Briar Gauntlets because I'm going to be rolling into the enemy, and what this does is we'll give them a slightly small amount of chip damage, which will counter their Ritual Shield Talisman if they have one on. And then I'm just using Fluffy Boots because it's a goofy looking boot, and I think it's funny. That's pretty much it, so let's start invading. Alright, and here we are. We're going to look around for that golden circle on the compass, and there they are. I'm going to show you without buffs just how powerful this is. So make sure that it says Host of Fingers. He's coming right at me. That's what we want. We're just going to roll at him. And kablamzo. And down he goes. That's going to send his friend back to the loading screen. And uh, we get the, the rune arc for killing him, obviously. Now, we do die, but that's completely fine. This is not a rune farm. This is more like a rune arc farm, but it's more of a troll. It's more like just having fun with people and uh, you join their game. And not everyone is so aggressive like that. They won't always run at you, so that's what Bloodhound Step is for. I'm going to show you some more examples here real quick of how this works. Alright, this time I'll show you with buffs. Let's locate them first. They are somewhere over there. You can see the <laughs> someone's getting hit over there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and buff up with Golden Val. And then we're going to cast Flame Grant Me Strength. Also, I didn't mention this, but you can also use Cooked Crab or Boiled Crab for even more tankiness. Not that you'll really need it. So, there's the, uh, there's the host, and there's his friend. I'm going to go ahead and swap to Bloodhound Step, and that's going to let us catch up to him. So, it looks like the host is wanting to run away. He, something is like, you can't touch me, maybe? That's his name? But I'm just going to go ahead and chug my flask here, and we're going to just, just hug him. Just get near him, and there we go. You can see that when we Bloodhound stepped into him, we, de we dealt one damage, which would disable uh, <laughs> his... Um, any kind of buffs he might have at full HP, even though he wasn't really at full HP for that fight. But theoretically, if he was, it would have disabled his defenses. And then our explosion, of course, one-shots him. And that's pretty much all there is to this build. It's a lot of fun. Go ch go try it out. You get instant invasions because you're level 1. Um, and there's always, you know, lots of, lo lots of new players that are playing with their friends that are obviously overpowered. And, uh, yeah, and you just ruin their day. I think it's great. And you can even roleplay with it, too, with the uh, the Prattling Prey. You just say, let's get to it. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they might be a little more comfortable around you, too. Uh, you can even try being naked because they won't feel as threatened by you. Uh, so, yeah, because you have those defensives. All right, so there's the host. He's doing little roleplay fights. The <laughs> that other guy was scooting around kind of weird, huh? 
All right, let's just get him to maybe swing on us or something. He's just running away. There we go. Now, they can interrupt. <laughs> All right, he thinks that I flashed up. <laughs> so he flashed up. <laughs> Wrong mistake, pal. Some people will think that you're trying to heal when you do that. But nope, that's not what we were doing at all. And what is his friend doing? <laughs> oh, this is just too fun, man. And it's so easy. Now, you don't even really need the buffs. You don't need the armor. I'm going to show you. Completely naked here. Let's go. I got a, a few little roleplay items. There's the host. Make sure he sees me. I'm going to drop these little rainbow stones on the ground. He's going to be like, what's going What is this guy doing, right? Hit him with the Mimic's Veil so I can turn into like a random object, right? Maybe he'll come over and play, right? You can lure him over with shiny objects. I'm now, I'm now just a, I'm now just a creepy little, little candlestick man, little, <laughs> little pillar of light. So let's walk towards him. Is he, is he gonna, is he gonna run away? Is his friend gonna attack me? Like, <laughs> oh, he's summoning more people in. Yes, this is great. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't hit me, dude. Oh, come on, man. What are y'all doing? That's, that's fine. You gotta make these people, you gotta make them pay. <laughs> well, we got his friends, so uh, we didn't get the host. He's gonna have to resummon them back in. But uh, yeah, you gotta be close. You wanna make sure you just stick to the host. Preferably don't roll, because you only have three seconds until it explodes. But uh, but yeah, hey, at least we took some people down with us, right? All right, here we go. It's another one of these, these little lobbies. Uh, again, let's just throw down the little stones, little glowy stones here. Maybe lure them over a little bit. Let's get to it. <laughs> Uh, put on the mimic's veil. All right. What are we? What are we turning into? A little flag. Little flags. Do not can spin. Yep. I'm gonna creep at him now. <laughs> uh, they don't know what to do, right? And he's just like, what the hell is going on? Right. And I'm naked. Like I'm not a threatening dude. I'm just naked, man. Look at this. <laughs> oh, if only. Whoa. But hey, we have our defensives. We're fine, man. We are. Totally fine. He's just gonna run away, by the way. That's what these guys do. They just run away. And we're just gonna run at them. And kablamzo, down they go. That's what they <laughs> get what they deserve. Oh, man. It's so funny. It's so good. Uh, because he wasn't full health, I didn't roll at him, so I didn't need to do chip damage. Alright, so this time, I've got on a big old dress and some cat ears. <laughs> uh, now, I'm gonna use a little pressure tactic with these glintstone scraps. We're just gonna shoot a little bit of magic at him. And that's going to make them think that we're like a wizard or something, and they're going to rush us. And then when they rush us, they're going to go, you know, kablamzo, right? Now, this is a really weird spot. Oh, they're down below. Well, I can't, I can't obviously get down there, but I can, um, I can try to just kill them with, with a rot pot. <laughs> Hit them with the old rot pot. Let's go. And, uh, my aim might be a little off. Oh, I got his friend. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> got his friend again. And it looks like they might die to the, the, the slimes down below but uh this is why we bring the rot pots obviously uh, <laughs> uh i can't really do much from here maybe i can kind of jump down do a little parkouring action but his friend is definitely dead if he doesn't heal and uh let's see if i can get them no oh, we got him so we don't even have to actually fight normally right because uh, we just rotted him so he's pretty much dead rot pots overpowered <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of an, an, an unfortunate spot. He, he pulled the plug! He disconnected! Alright, I've changed my outfit again. We are now one of these little creatures and these big old faced, big eyed creatures. Alright, let's go uh, Let's go get the uh, the host and Bloodhound Step will allow us to get there faster. Yeah, it costs mana, but this is way faster than actually running and we can't use mounts when we're the invader. Okay, and there he is. <laughs> now, I can pressure him with some of these explosive stones. Pretty spooky stuff, right? <laughs> Alright, he wants me to obviously duel his friend there. He's just gonna hold block and kinda run away, right? But that's okay. Why is he not full HP? I'm just gonna chug this and run at him. There we go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, his friend's just like, oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, here we go. This guy's running around with the fire prelitz charge. Looks like a fun group of lads, right? <laughs> Here I am naked. I'm just running at them. Oh, it's uh, HP 155, whatever. Oh, these guys are super wizards. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've fought them before. And... Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, we killed everybody. That's a triple kill. 
Oh, those guys are those guys are using in-game spells and just super high-leveled stuff, man. Uh, feels good. Anyway, guys, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today in this video. We had a lot of fun. Go out, go out and try this if you want. I've got a video on my channel that shows how to get all this stuff as a level one character, super quick and easy. Uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe, hit me up in the comment section, ask me whatever you want. Talk to other people in the comment section too, that really helps out the video. And yeah, this is a pretty cool get up, isn't it? Anyway guys, make sure you subscribe because I put out videos every single day on this channel, so come on back tomorrow, same time, same place, for another video. And if you're financially independent and you want access to private videos to be a cool guy, you can become a channel member, it's 5 bucks a month, it's like being a Twitch subscriber but on YouTube. The join button is right below this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care, lads.